Hi guys, my name is Gina Jemsville and welcome to a special episode of Houses and I mentioned maybe I would try to build a house myself. I am not the best builder in Sims 4 and I've actually never built a house. This is my first house that I have ever built in Sims 4 and it is for Isabel and Emiliano to move into. It is a kind of modern, well it is a modern, it's a modern style house and I'm going to give you a little tour in this episode and Isabel and Emiliano are going to move in with their new little baby at the end of the episode so, so let's go ahead and get started with the tour before we go any further I just have to say there may be some little bits wrong with the house things like down see underneath the steps there there's they're not brick I want like on the other side they're brick I couldn't get them to be brick I've no idea why I am going to continue messing around with it and try and see if I can sort it out but any of the little bits like that just kind of ignore them for now. I'm going to try and sort them out. <laughs> so here is the house. And to be honest, for my first build in Sims 4, I'm really quite pleased with it. I like the roof. That's one of my favourite parts. And these huge, big windows, I think, are really nice as well. I'll just give you a little tour around the whole thing. Obviously, the garden needs a little bit more work. Like, I need to do some more landscaping. The back is just completely filled with these... Uh, red paned windows which I think looks really really nice it gives off so much light into the house and there's obviously like this little patio out here with the barbecue and then just the grass area and then this is the side but let's go ahead and get right into it so here we are on the first floor so it's got a nice little nice little steps up this is the bit I was talking about here you see by the steps I don't know why this won't turn oh the steps are brick but this little bit here isn't I've tried everything and it just won't work I don't know I'll keep having a go but there's a, a balcony not a balcony there's a patio that kind of goes all the way around this patio extends right the way back but it's got a little gate on there and the front door here let's go on in through the house so through the house and it's all kind of very open plan downstairs we have got just a big one big kind of room here really so we go, I'll show you it from this angle. So we come through the front door here, stairs going upstairs, obviously, and then we have kind of these half walls, which I was amazed at. I didn't know we could do half walls in Sims 4. I think it kind of just breaks it up and separates the rooms. I think it looks quite nice. I like it. So we've got the lounge area here. Kind of all modern because they're only a young couple. Nice little modern lounge area. The big windows on the front and the sides have got like some blinds that we can pull down because you don't want everybody looking in because they are rather large <laughs> windows and then through this little bit here and we have the kitchen and the diner as well kitchen diner and look how nice it is look i love this house actually all open at the back like that so you can just see out into your garden it's so nice i kind of wanted my thought was that i wanted these to be you know those houses where you can like just pull open the door so like all of those all of this back here would be like one big door that you could just slide back i would love that but we haven't got that kind of function in sims 4 so we've just come for this little side door here and then you go from the side door that brings you out onto this patio area and just a simple little patio area out here i'm gonna add some more things for you like a little seating area and things as i go through playing with Emiliano and Isabel obviously Isabel obviously they're going to bring a few things with them like Emiliano's got his punch bag and stuff that maybe that can go outside and they've got a few bits to come with them so yeah okay, so let's go up to the next floor and this has got one of my favorite things in the house look at this it's got a double so looking down into the kitchen it is a massive massive ceiling right up to the top there's like a little balcony and here's the landing and then you look down into the into the kitchen i think that's awesome i love it when i learned how to do that i was like wow that's amazing i love it i've got to use that in this house <laughs> so we've got it's fairly standard and kind of simple upstairs but the baby's room oscar's room i can't remember his name oh my goodness is it oscar yeah i think it is oscar's bedroom here which is upstairs kind of gave me a lot of hassle because i really wanted to have this feature of the like the double height ceiling and once i put it in it was really hard to kind of fit in the rooms that I wanted so they are kind of a bit odd shaped some of them like that's a bit of an odd shaped there with the baby room and then the bathroom is like an L shaped a little bit odd we have got a nice big bath in there though so that's good you need a nice little big nice little big bath you need a nice big bath when you have a baby and then through here 
takes you into Isabel and Emiliano's room. Nice little bed there with huge mirrors opposite. Whoa, what am I doing here with the camera? <laughs> with, whoa, I don't know what, what's going on? What's going on? There we go. Got, got sorted now. Yeah, so big mirrors on the wall there. And I kind of, I used the brick on the inside as well because I kind of like that whole rustic look. So all on this one side of the house upstairs and downstairs is the, the, the brick wall, which I really, really like. And then they have got like a walk-in wardrobe here. Or um, um, Emiliano's. No, these aren't Emiliano's clothes. Isabel's clothes on this side. And then if I spin you around... Here's the walking wardrobe from above. So you've got Isabella's, like I said, on one side and Emiliano's on this side here. And then also in the room, they've got this nice, huge, big window and this little corridor because it kind of needed a little bit more light because this was like a tiny little corridor space here as they walk into the room. So I've just put this huge window from floor to ceiling, which means that that looks straight out onto the back garden as well, which I kind of, I really like that, how that kind of works within the house. That, guys, is their house. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Please be kind. Remember, it is my first build. But well, I am really proud of it, to be honest. Really proud. Let's go ahead and we'll move Isabel and Emiliano into it. Okay, here we go, guys. I have sold all of their furniture. And I'm hoping they're going to have enough money. I didn't in any way sort of plan. How much is this? This is 57. Oh, it's still called a wedding venue. It's not a wedding venue. We're going to have to change that. Um... I didn't plan the cost of this. It's 57000 Does that mean they can afford it? Oh, my goodness. Can they afford it? Uh, let's have a little look. Oh, funds. 63000 Yes, they can afford it. Okay, let's move them in. Uh, we want to keep... Uh, hang on. Sell furniture. Sell... Oh, any furniture that they've got left in the house. Sell. And we want to buy this house furnished. Yay, moving day. Let's go and see them in their new house. I have put a few of their things in their inventory, like uh, the easel and the punch bag and a couple of their pictures and things. They were up on the wall. But other than that, they are coming with nothing. Here they are in their new home or outside their new home anyway. Let's, where's baby? Is they gone straight upstairs? Yeah, ah. Uh, Baby Oscar, wait, get changed into, what can she get changed into? This outfit, get changed into that outfit. And you can get changed, they're both starving. Change into, why aren't they showing up? They're not showing up, I'm going to go with, I don't think I've ever seen any of Emiliano's other outfits. He's got to go into his normal, that outfit, hasn't he? <laughs> Oh my goodness, do you need the toilet? He needs the toilet. Come and be the first one to use the toilet. And Isabel, come and see baby Oscar. What do they think of their new house? Do they like it? I hope they like it. We should place in the few items that they brought with them. I might, thinking about it, I might actually make this, if I can make under the stairs into like a little because it's just wasted space i might make it into a little downstairs toilet because it'd just be handier rather than having to go upstairs each time yay they're in the new home oh and then there's a bar with baby oscar in his first little bedroom you guys actually in the comments on the last video mentioned that i asked about whether we should keep baby oscar or should we age him up and I, I think I said toddler in the video and somebody corrected me saying there is no toddlers. I know. I mean a child. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think a lot of you would kind of say maybe keep him as a, chi uh, as a child, as a baby for one or two episodes and then make him into a child, not a toddler. I think they're happy with the house. They look like they're happy. All right, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you like the house. Let me know what you think of my first ever build in sims 4 i think it's my first build anyway i can't remember building like a completed house before anyway whoa look at those skills first meal first meal in the house yeah let me know what you think of the house and join me soon when we are back into the let's play of runner 18 thanks so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you are new around here and i will see you guys soon for a new video bye